Hello everyone, I am Sonia Devnath. So today I am going to talk about the topic that is does every society have different works for men and women. So I start my presentation with the introduction part. So first of all, we have to know what is gender. The term gender refers to the economic, social and cultural attributes and opportunities associated with being male or female. In most societies, being a man or a woman is not simply a matter of different biological and physical characteristics. Men and women face different expectations about how they should dress, behave or work. So, to understand gender roles and how they are assigned, we need to dig deeper into what is truly means. Gender roles in society refer to the set of social and behavioral norms that are considered appropriate for individuals of a particular gender. These roles often dictate the type of work men and women are expected to perform. Some of the examples of are like uh, women typically took and responsibilities such as cooking, cleaning, and child care, and open and men often handle tasks like work, car maintenance, and home repairs, and engineering, medicine, and law. So there are some historical perspective on gender work, practical societies, domestic responsibilities and divisions of labor. In traditional societies, men are primarily engaged in agricultural work and activities involving physical labor. Women are responsible for domestic tasks and nurturing which included child care and household chores. The gender division of labor has been deeply rooted in historical social structures influencing work roles for generations. Now I come to the question that is, does every society have different work for men and women? While it is true that many societies have historically and currently assigned specific gender roles in the workforce. For example, in some cultures, men might have been traditionally associated with physically demanding tasks like as hunting or agriculture, while women often took on responsibilities related to caregiving and household management. However, it is essential to uh, it is essential to note that gender roles vary across cultures and contemporary societies are gradually involving towards more gender inclusive work environment. Like uh, traditional, so those I will discuss some of the examples like traditional gender roles in agriculture. Women in farming. Historically, women have played traditional roles in crop cultivation and sustaining agriculture communities. Women typically, yeah, women typically through, uh, take on such as responsibilities farming often depicted women as responsible for tasks such as tending to poultry, dairy animals, and vegetable gardens, as well as processing and preserving food. They also often played crucial roles in household management, including meal preparation, child care, and maintaining the household's overall well-being, while men typically handle tasks like planting, harvesting, and managing larger livestock. However, it is essential to note that these roles vary significantly depending on cultural, geographical, and historical context. And masculine tasks such as men have often been responsible for heavy labor such as plowing fields and tending to larger livestock. Now, example two is gender work in professional fields such as male-dominated fields and female-dominated professions. In male-dominated fields, 
fields such as engineering and technology have been predominantly male dominated with societal expectation influencing career choices and in female dominated profession teaching nursing nursing and social work have been profession where women have traditionally held a majority of roles reflecting societal norms now there are some factors influencing gender work like cultural norms and economic realities cultural expectations and traditions plays a significant role in defining gender specific work role with communities and economic factors and opportunities have also shaped gender work patterns influences occupational choice and career paths now in the end through conclusion we need to focus on the need for gender equality and equality in work like equal opportunities eliminating bias cultural shift creating equal opportunities for individual regardless of gender is crucial for a more inclusive and diverse work environment eradicating biases and prejudices in hiring and promoting practices is essential for achieving true gender equality in work a cultural shift towards recognizing and valuing diversity in work will help dismantle gender work stereotype although gender stereotype remain prevalent there has also both a significant improvement that allows men and women to openly pursue their dreams and interchange rules among themselves nowadays men are encouraged to work in department such as fashion design and culinary alongside women and are also being taught how to participate in child care furthermore society is becoming more open minded towards women pursuing their careers as well our modern society's mindset encourages women to pursue fields such as astronauts medicine and engineering accordingly if they wish to in my opinion we should be the ones in charge of distributing the roles among ourselves based on our wants and abilities instead of gender by providing equal opportunities and mutual mutual understanding Here I like to conclude my presentation that's all thank you everyone